Do you know that you can actually become a money magnet and that you have the capacity and the ability to manifest any amount of money you want at any point in time you want it? Do you know that you have the ability to create money? Are you aware that money is actually a spirit and when you invite it, it's ready to come and answer you? Do you understand that if you're a Christian, the Bible actually says that faith with your work is dead? And when that portion of the Bible is talking about work, it's not all about just the physical work you are doing, maybe your business and so on and so forth in order to make money. But that work goes beyond physical. There is also spiritual work you will do to back whatever that you are doing physically and it will yield lots and lots of abundance of money and abundance of benefit to you. In other words, in as much as you will not be lazy. I normally say that nature doesn't bless laziness in as much as you have committed yourself to a, a productive and economic venture that actually attracts money to you. There is a spiritual work you needed to do in order to back that physical work spiritually so that it will yield lots and lots of money. If not, sometimes you will work hard and you will not even see the reward. Even when the reward comes, it seems that you don't really understand what happened as if something carries it away. So by God's grace, in today's video, I will be sharing a simple secret of what you will do. You will begin to attract lots and lots of money. Your home will begin to attract money. Your shop will begin to attract money. Even if you are online vendor, you will become a money magnet. Whatever you do, you are doing will become so successful that you will no longer look for money. You may be saying, I'm talking about money, money, money. Do you know that the Bible actually says that money answers all things? The only thing is that is that it says the love of money is the root of all evil. When we talk of love of money, it is a kind of trying to make money by all means. Even if you have to go through means that are not right, maybe ritual that involve human sacrifice and all that things, that is where the love of money is bad. But believe me, everything you see in this earth, they have here, they, they listen, they understand, and then... They have feelings just as we are. And money, believe me, is a spirit. Not until you begin to like money. Not until you are always full of talking about money. Money may not actually come the quantity you want it. And besides, everyone you see under this planet Earth actually have a guardian angel. And it's actually what the guardian angels hear you speaking, hear you believing in. That is exactly what your guardian angel will do for you. And that is why you can't afford to not talk about money or not do your spiritual works to bring money to you. Otherwise, you are simply telling your guardian angel that money is not part of your importance. So, please, you need to talk about money. It is time to make money welcome once again to our official youtube channel in this particular channel i treat three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand this three very well there is no limit to your achievement if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so so that you will always be getting new uploads from me for my returning subscribers god bless you i love you for always stopping by so without wasting time let's go straight to the video of today first of all understand this obvious fact that is actually god that gives us power to make wealth no wonder the book of haggai 2 verse 8 says silver and gold belongs to God. And one of the ways that God energizes us to make that world is that he has actually created things that will become a kind of money magnet to us. Like I normally tell you in this channel that everything that you see God created in this earth have both physical and spiritual purpose. Um, see thou those products that have lots and lots of physical purpose or even health purpose, believe me, it equally have corresponding spiritual purpose. Now, 
I wish to introduce to you one of the spice that is used for baking. It is also used maybe for cooking that attracts lots of money to you. And that is cinnamon. I don't know whether you know about cinnamon. Normally, I will always advise you, this is the cinnamon powder. It is spice. I will always advise you, get cinnamon stick. Because the cinnamon stick is in its original form. Go to people that are say, selling baking material, a kind of spiritual shops or big supermarkets, you will get cinnamon there. Get cinnamon stick or cinnamon powder, but preferable cinnamon stick because cinnamon stick is original. But when it is grinded to powder, because you are not there and the people that are making it want to make lots of money, they may add other things in it, thereby reducing the effect and reducing the originality. But to get every effect you need from it, you need to get the stick, then grind it to powder and store it in a container. But this one is actually cinnamon powder. I bought it like this from a baking shop. Now, cinnamon is a spice. Yes, and it's for cooking. But the spiritual aura behind cinnamon is that it attracts abundance. It attracts prosperity. It attracts wealth to you. It attracts love. It attracts lots and lots of positive energy and repel negative energy. This is one of the items that should not lack in your home. Whether you are using it or not, please keep it in your home because it comes with lots of positive vibration, positive vibes that actually allows you to make wealth. And one good thing about it is that health-wise, it's even a kind of improves brain health. Likewise, spiritually, it removes blockages and stagnation. And that is the ability to remove blockages and stagnation that will make an individual to be almost in one place without making progress. We now make that an individual who uses it or have it to start making progress. That is where the power of cinnamon in attraction of wealth lies. Now, how are you going to actually use it to attract abundance into your life? So, if you are not a Christian, just get cinnamon. Then I will tell you what next. Just pay attention. You will see what next to do. But for those that are Christian, you will always agree with me that the instructional manner that God has actually left for us in this world to use is actually the Bible. And that is why whatever we are doing that have, does not have root in the Bible is questionable. No wonder the Bible says if everything that Jesus has done on this earth is written in the Bible, the Bible will not be able to contain it. And besides, it says when the Holy Spirit comes, it teaches all truth. And that is the premise by which we stand to believe in all the revelations we are getting concerning the things of the nature that God has provided for us. So, for Christians now, before you start the spiritual work associated with this, I need us to go through the scripture. Please, before I forget, before you do the spiritual work, please make sure that you are not in your monthly flow and also you have not met with any man, carnally, man or woman, carnally, even if it's your spouse. If you have done that, then wait for two days before you do this particular a walk. Even the Bible says that when a woman is flowing, that that woman is a kind of unclean. And believe me, sex is a powerful spiritual thing. It's not every time that you finish it that you just go and touch spiritual material. If you actually want spiritual work to be very, very effective for you, stay away from sex. The period you want to do a particular spiritual work, believe me, you will get powerful results out of it. Okay, now we will be using some four in order to do this work we will be using psalm 4 so as a christian we will read psalm 4 and then we'll go ahead so when you get the cinnamon start with this psalm and pray answer me when i call oh god oh god of my right that has given me room when i was in distress be gracious to me and hear my prayer oh man how long shall my honor suffer shame 
how long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call him. Be angry, but see not coming with your own hearts on your base and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. We are going to be hinting on this verse. I say, offer right sacrifice. So, once you hit that place, you now bring out this and say, Oh God, my Heavenly Father, you say we should offer right sacrifices and our trust is in you. And my trust is not in this thing. My trust is actually in, on you. I wish to offer the right sacrifice that will bring money to me because I needed money. Then when you have made that your intention very clear, let the universe hear. You know, even Bible says, Blessed are those that read the word of this covenant aloud. Read it allowed speak your intention let it be clear let your guardian angel hear you let the universe hear you let the world then immediately you have done that you now get this cinema what do you do go straight to your front door you can do it in your front door in your home front door in your office if you have an office and then maybe front door of your shop if you have shop where you sell but if you don't have physical shop where you sell you can also Add it to your betting water and bet with it. After you have done your normal bet, you bet with it with your soap, water, and sponge, and not worry and allow it to dry your body. So what do you do? You now bring her. You can see how the cinnamon is. See the cinnamon. See it. The grinded cinnamon. So you now begin to do what? You now use the, your hand and pack it and begin to sprinkle it in front of your door. As you are sprinkling it, you are saying that as I sprinkle this cinnamon, I welcome abundance, I welcome money, I welcome good energies, I despise negative energy. Money will no longer lack in this home. I welcome you money into my home. When you finish sprinkling into the front door, because the front door is like a portal that connects the outside world to the in, in, inside there, home or inside of your room in other words you are saying that abundance and wealth from outside should find its way into your home so it must be the door that lead to outside we are strangers coming not the doors of the inner room when you have done that you can go to the four edges of your living room and also drop some quantity of a cinnamon then after you have done that to attract enough wealth for you then you can take some and mix it inside your cream normal cream and that you are rubbing you believe me wherever you go you become a money magnet then when you do that you also go to your office and go to any static location you do business but if your business is online just add it to your betting water and bet with it let it dry in your body with your soap with your sponge and with your towel believe me you will become a money magnet what will it do for you is not that money will start falling from heaven even the ideas the, it will remove blockages from your the ideas to make money will start coming clients will start business will start booming people will begin to patronize you and so on and so forth things that will bring money into your home and your life will start happening go and try this you will surely come back and testify when do you do this it is always good to do it at the beginning of every month like first day of the month or first day of the week like working week like on a monday morning and or first day of the month and then you can also do it at any time but i'm just telling you the best time to do it so that it will last for the whole of the week or the whole of the month you can be repeating the process monthly or weekly and believe me you will no longer lack finance before you do this cinnamon spiritual work, please, first of all, do cleansing. How do you do this spiritual? Add salt to your bathroom water and bath with it just to remove negative energy. To make sure that you allow that water to dry in your body. And that's all. Then you are good to go with the, your cinnamon uh, kind of spiritual work. You do it uh, uh, very early in the morning before leaving the house. And with this, I've actually come to the end of this video. Try it and drop your comments on the comment section. Please, if this, if you have not actually subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you get my next upload. And please help me to share this channel to everyone. God will actually help you.